our last videos we saw how to draw a room. In this video I'd like to show you how to build a kitchen using cabinets in the Quick Design Models library. After having opened the room drawn in our last videos, let's add some kitchen cabinets to our project. To do this I can move the mouse over to the models list and click right. In the mouse menu I can choose add and now I can browse to the Polybod Quick Design Models folder and go to kitchens. In Kitchens let's choose the Quick Design QD Kitchen. All the cabinets contained in the QD Kitchen project are now added to the list of models in my current project. Let's start by inserting a corner cabinet into the left hand corner of our room. To make cabinet placement easier let's use the View button to set the view to a plan view. Now I can select the base corner cabinet and drag and drop it into our project. Let's look at the 3D view by clicking on the 3D button. I can see that by default the cabinet is not turned the right way to fit into our corner. So let's go back to the 2D view by pressing the spacebar. To turn the cabinet I'm going to put the mouse over the cabinet, click right and in the mouse menu choose Rotate Selection. In the absolute angle box I'm going to put 90 degrees and when I click on the OK button the cabinet will be turned 90 degrees. I can now click and drag the cabinet and snap it into the corner of our room. It's simple now to add other cabinets to our project. I can just choose a cabinet in the list and snap it onto our first cabinet. Let's add a two door base cabinet and I'm just going to snap it onto the corner cabinet. Now let's add a base drawer unit with three drawers in it, which I'm going to snap onto our base cabinet. To make a clean junction with the right hand wall, I'd like to add a filler between the last cabinet and the wall. A filler is just a cabinet in our models list. If I scroll down the list I can see here a Z filler. Let's grab the filler and just drag it onto our project. I can see that the filler is quite wide. If I click on it and select it I can see its properties in the properties menu on the right and I can see that its width is 233 millimeters. Let's change it to 50 millimeters. Now I can click on the filler and drag it into the right hand corner of our room. Note that the filler is being snapped into the corner of the room as if it's a cabinet. Let's measure the distance between the filler and the last cabinet that we put in place. To do this I'm going to click on the horizontal measure button, move the mouse over to the last cabinet's edge, then over to the edge of the filler and click. We can see that the distance between the last cabinet and the filler is 583 millimeters. I'm going to put the mouse over the 583, click right and choose in the menu permanent dimensions so that this dimension will be displayed on our drawing. I'm going to quit the dimensioning tool by clicking again on the horizontal measure button and now I'm going to put a cabinet with one door onto our drawing. I'm going to choose in the list a base cabinet with the door hinged on the right hand side. I'm going to grab this cabinet and I'm going to drag it onto our drawing. If I select this cabinet I can see that its actual width is 600 millimeters. Let's change that to the remaining distance between our drawer cabinet and our filler. 583 millimeters. The cabinet is resized and I can now click and drag it into the space between the base drawer unit and the filler. Now let's press the space bar and see our project in 3D. Let's add one last cabinet to our room. I'm going to go back to the 2D view by pressing spacebar and I'm going to take a two door base cabinet, drag it onto our project, right click and rotate it 90 degrees and snap it onto this side of our corner cabinet. Our project now looks like this.